I'm Anuj Goyal. I'm a product manager for Chrome Browser Enterprise. And here's the agenda today. We're going to talk about why the browser is becoming increasingly important in the enterprise. We're going to talk about Chrome browser benefits, improvements since last year, future enhancements that are coming in 2019, and finally, how to get started managing Chrome Browser Enterprise. So let's get started. We all know the way that enterprises work is changing. This is being driven by rapid technology changes. What was once impossible is now possible. And what was once possible is now normal. Employees want flexibility, agility, speed, and access to what they want when they want it. People want to be able to pick up their kids, take calls from the car, work from home, and respond to email wherever they are. We all know this and experience this every day. With the affordability of cloud computing, the reach of mobile devices, and the ubiquity of fast connectivity, technology in the work environment is vastly different from what it used to be. So let's look at some stats. 84% of people work in virtual environments at least part of the time. On average, an employee has 22 apps, and they have three devices. Almost half of those devices store some business-critical data. And finally, remote work is the norm for about 70% of your traditional information workers. So what you need is a secure browser that can be managed centrally while keeping employees productive. Big drum roll. That's Chrome Browser Enterprise. It provides secure, trusted access to data, apps, and cloud services. The browser also connects employees on any device and proactively protects users while they work. Your users get a consistent, customizable experience wherever they want to work, and IT admins can easily manage permissions and policies across every user every device, and every platform that they have in their enterprise. It should be no surprise to learn that Chrome Browser has been evolving over the past 10 years to support enterprise users. We started with administrative GPOs, and then we added features, additional features that customers requested for enterprise use cases. As the web has grown, so have our enterprise capabilities. Also, in the past year, we've added the ability to manage Chrome Browser from Google's Admin Console. And we'll detail additional feature enhancements later in the presentation. First, let's talk about the impact that Chrome can have on an average enterprise of about 20,000 employees. Forrester Consulting has said, one, Chrome is easier to troubleshoot, and two, helped us turnaround times are much, much faster. So overall, end user productivity increases, and enterprises see tangible benefits within six months. This further validates that Chrome Browser can enable your IT admins, IT help desk, and employees to be more productive. So quick poll of the audience. How many of you are Chrome Browser enterprise users? Hands higher, come on, come on. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, let's talk about what we've done since last year. First, we've improved security in many, many different ways. The web is a dangerous place, and we have blocked third-party processes from hijacking Chrome. Two, we've improved the verification process for extensions, and we've prevented deceptive extensions from being installed in the enterprise. Three, we've let enterprise users know if their enterprise password has been compromised and if it's being used outside of their company. And last, we've rolled out site isolation to contain threats. This is a key differentiator of Chrome Browser to keep your end users safe. But, 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 but. No security discussion would be complete without discussing Flash. 
For the past 20 years, yeah, you can laugh. Um, for the past 20 years, Flash has helped shape the way that you play games, browse the web, watch videos, and run applications. But over the last few years, Flash has actually become less common. Three years ago, 80% of Flash users, uh, excuse me, 80% of Chrome users visited a Flash website once a day. Now, Flash usage is only 6%, and it continues to decline. This trend shows that websites are moving to open web technologies, such as HTML5 and PWAs, which are faster and more efficient than Flash. So IT admins, hopefully I'm looking at all of you, uh, please work with your software vendors to find a migration path away from Flash. Since next 2013, we've also streamlined how a browser is managed in existing environments. For example, we know a lot of you use third-party tools such as SCCM and Intune to manage your applications. We verified that Chrome browser GPOs can be configured properly from these tools and improved our documentation to help admins configure Chrome within these tools. We've tested that browser sign-in and restrict sign-in pattern policies work together to ensure that your users can sign into Chrome browser with the correct work email. Third, many customers want statistics on how their users use Chrome browser. We've built a purely optional extension that an administrator can install on a Chrome browser. They can monitor the resource consumption of Chrome browser by memory. They can see their signed in status. They can see the connectivity of the device and many, many other machine information, uh, excuse me, machine configuration policies. The extension data is stored locally in JSON on that device. So you can use Splunk or SCCM to read that information and build your own reports. Fourth, we've added relaunch notifications. These policies allow you to influence how often your user gets reminded that a new version of Chrome is available to download. And many of our customers had said that this helps quite a bit with keeping their users on the most current version of Chrome. This is another feature that we've added recently called Manage By, and it was built with a lot of feedback from your employees. It helps increase the transparency between admins and end users. We're letting employees easily see the administrative policies that are being set up in their environment so that they know their browser is being managed. We definitely expect some discussion around this feature, so we will continue to iterate on it over the next few months with your feedback. Now let's move on to what's happening in 2019. This is our forward-looking roadmap. We have a lot of great features coming, and I'm, I'm going to discuss each one of these in more detail. So first, Chrome Browser Cloud Management has just launched. This will enable admins to easily manage Chrome deployments of any size from the cloud. Admins can enroll devices into organizational units and manage all the desktop Chrome browsers of these enrolled devices through Google Admin Console. They can also apply policies to organizational units and deploy those policies to all the browsers that are enrolled. Admins will be able to gain insights into their deployment, and they will be able to delegate admin responsibilities. So if you have a large organization, you could delegate an admin for finance, an admin for HR, an admin for sales, an admin for any other group that you might have in your organization. Note that administrators, do, administrators need to have a Google account, but your end users do not. What we do is that we enroll the browser via a token, which admins can, admins can retrieve from the Google Admin Console. There's a lot of great features in this product, and I won't be able to cover them all in this session. Please check out the session later today with my colleague Phil and Starbucks to learn how they have deployed Chrome Browser Cloud Management at their company. 
Next feature, legacy browser support. This is a feature that we've actually had for a couple years that allows admins to have Chrome as the default browser for the majority of their websites. But it will allow them to automatically fall back to a legacy browser for some minority set of legacy websites. In addition, users are endlessly switched back to Chrome from that legacy browser when they try to access a modern website. So it's really, really useful. While this feature has been available for many years, it's now going to be much easier to deploy because it's being built into Chrome, and you won't have to rely on an additional extension. We've actually heard a lot of great feedback from this feature from early adopters of the integrated LBS. And we really hope to hear from you and hope that you enjoy it as well. We will also be adding controls for legacy browser support into the admin console later this year. Another feature that is getting rolled out is part of a suite of features called update controls. Many of our customers have requested the ability to pin Chrome to specific versions. We launched this feature, and it's really meant for companies, excuse me, we've already launched this feature, and we've gotten feedback from companies, and they've told us this is super helpful when they have strict management, uh, change management uh, requirements and or compliance needs. What we are now doing is offering a way for customers to roll back a new version of Chrome to an old version of Chrome. And this is meant as a temporary measure or emergency workaround. We always recommend to stay on the newest version of Chrome so that you're up to date with the latest security patches. Today, these features are available as GPO only. And we will add these controls to the admin console later this year. Next, how many of you use passwords? I use passwords. I have a corporate password. Um, sometimes I accidentally use that password outside of my company. So we've built a feature called Password Alert. This will alert your employees when they use their corporate password on a non-whitelisted website. And what the feature does, it will actually instruct them to reset their password. This prevents corporate passwords from being phished by malicious third-party websites. We also plan to enable password alert from the admin console so that IT admins can get reports on who is reusing their password outside of their company. This helps quite a bit for compliance. Next. Chrome browser has a ton of policies. We know that we've had to make improvements towards documenting these policies. And we're going to update our policy page. Right now, when you go to our policy list, it's a huge, like just gigantic web page of 300 plus policies that span Chrome browser and Chrome OS. You've asked for an easier way to search through these policies. And that's what we're doing. You're going to be able to filter by operating system. You're going to be able to filter by browser version. And you're, go you're going to be able to um, filter by a couple other things to more easily allow you to see when a new policy was added. On to Omnibox. Omnibox is one of my most favorite features. And we continue to look at Omnibox as a key entry point for surfacing search results. Now G Suite admins have the option to allow Chrome Omnibox to show document suggestions from Google Drive when a user does a search. And this is all enabled from within your company firewall, not external. Note that there are three things that an admin must do to enable this feature. One, you have to have a G Suite account, and you have to turn on this setting. Two, users have to be signed into Chrome. That should be obvious. And three, users have to have Cloud Sync turned on. We use this feature every day at Google, and I can tell you it's super useful for finding that document that you just can't remember. Another UX-related feature is tab groups, which is super amazing. 
tab groups will increase the productivity for users that want better tools to manage their workflows, especially their business workflows. You'll be able to group related tabs together so that it's easier to find your work stream and stay focused. And those are some of our major features that are coming in 2019. Just as a reminder, we have an extensive list of resources for our customers that don't buy support. We have release notes, help center articles, and a free enterprise forum. And if you're interested in purchasing support, please contact our Chrome Enterprise Browser Specialists at google.com, and they'll tell you what's included in the support package. Noriko is right back there. She's smiling. Go say hi to her after the session. All right. We're almost done, but we have many other sessions today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And these will all go into more depth about Chrome Browser Enterprise. So if you're trying to pitch Chrome inside of your company, I highly recommend checking out the session with Blue Cross Blue Shield and their journey to make Chrome the primary browser in their enterprise. <laughs>